Is gas leaking from your engine? Will the engine not start? If so, you might want to take a close look at the fuel lines. There are multiple fuel lines found on most small engines. At a minimum, there will be a line carrying fuel from the tank to the carburetor, and a second returning excess purge fuel from the carb back to the fuel tank. Many models have a remote purge bowl, which adds a third line between it and the carb. Some models will have a remote tank vent, and another piece of fuel line connecting it to the tank. Fuel lines are in constant contact with gasoline. Over time, the gas will begin to harden and deteriorate the fuel lines. Once hardened, the fuel lines are easily cracked or broken. Even a small crack will create a potentially dangerous fuel leak and will allow air into the fuel system. Air in the fuel system can cause the engine to run erratically, die, or not start at all. Replacing the fuel lines is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Before you begin, you'll want to go ahead and drain the fuel out of the saw. I'll begin by removing the top cover. Now remove the air filter cover. Just simply sits over the top of the air filter base. Now I can remove the air filter. Now I can remove the air filter base. Next, I'll remove the throttle linkage. I'll pull the trigger so I can access the end of the linkage and pull it away from the trigger. And now I'll remove the carburetor. Now I'll remove the two fuel lines going to the carburetor. This is the line from the tank and this is the line going to the primer bulb. Now I'll remove the return line from the primer bulb. There's a fitting on the end of the return fuel line inside the fuel tank. And that fitting is there just to make it so you can't easily pull the return line out of the tank. So to replace this line, what I'm gonna to have to do is cut the line off as close to the tank as I can and then through the fuel cap, come into the tank with a pair of hemostats, grab that fitting and remove it and the remainder of the fuel line. So I'll go ahead and cut the line first. Now remove the fuel cap, and with my hemostats, pull that fitting and the fuel line out of the tank. I'm going to cut the fuel line away from the fitting that was inside the tank so I can reuse it. Now I'm going to cut my new piece of fuel line. Again, I'll use the old piece of line as a guide, and I do need to remember to add a little length for the piece that I cut off. I'm going to cut a slight angle on one end of the new line, and this will make it easier to insert it into the fuel tank. Now I'll insert the new piece of fuel line into the opening in the fuel tank. I have enough line inside the tank that now I can again take my hemostats and grab that line and I'll pull it out through the tank opening. I want to be careful that I don't pull the entire line all the way through, just enough so I can get that fitting back onto the end. Now I'll cut the line square and reinstall the fitting. Now I'll grab the fuel line with my hemostats one more time 
from the top of the saw and pull the fuel line through until that fitting contacts the underside of the tank. Right there. And that line's ready to go. Now I'll reconnect the return line to the primer bulb. Just slide that line right back onto the nipple. Now reinstall the fuel lines onto the carburetor. The incoming line to the bottom of the carb and the line to the primer bulb on the top. Now we can install the carburetor back onto the saw. I'll make sure that the intake tube lines up with the carb as I slide this back onto the saw. Now reinstall the throttle linkage. It goes into the hole on the carburetor. Then again, I'll pull the trigger and slide the linkage back into place. Now I'll reinstall the air filter base and secure it to the carburetor. Now I can install the air filter. Just line it up with the air filter base and make sure I get a good seal all the way around the edge. Now I'll install the air filter cover. I want to make sure that it seals all the way around the air filter base. Yeah, just like that. And now I can install the cover.